Super Eagles are now ranked third in Africa and 28th in the world. The Super Eagles of Nigeria are now ranked third in Africa and 28th in the world. Meaning that the Super Eagles of Nigeria are part of the best 30 teams of the world. Okay, first team basically is Morocco and they are 12th in the world. The second team is Senegal, they are 17th in the world. Third team, Nigeria, 28th in the world. South Africa was 11th behind Ghana, all right, and Ghana was 10th. Now, the Black Stars of Ghana has dropped how many places? Let me say it with a position and a UJ for yourself. The Black Stars of Ghana has dropped to the 14th log in Africa. Black Stars are now 14th in Africa. Okay, family, okay, my people, welcome to another exclusive right here on TJ Studios. Yes, your commander-in-chief is seated right here in the studios of TJ Studios, my studios, to give you exclusives for today. What is on the bill for today? Okay, let's zoom in straight to action. Super Eagles are now ranked third in Africa and 28th in the world. The Super Eagles of Nigeria are now ranked third in Africa and 28th in the world. Meaning that the Super Eagles of Nigeria are part of the best 30 teams of the world, okay? And are third in Africa, surpassing Ivory Coast, who even won the AFCON final. All right, okay. So before we do justice to today's editorial and looking deep at the teams in Africa, first 10 teams and then the ranking table from FIFA, all right, do well to join this family if you have been watching my, you know, exclusives, all my videos, and you are yet to subscribe. Do well to add up, subscribe to the channel, and let's do this, all right? Let's build a big family, all right, of subscribers right here on this channel. And also, as usual, drop your comments below, all right? Drop your comments below. Like I said, you know, the trolling from my country people is humbly welcome. It's a Ghana Niger thing, I know. But let's not go overboard, all right? It is relatively unwise to troll someone who, who keeps soaring. And then you can see in my previous videos, I said that Nigerian football is on the rise. And as you can see, it's beginning to manifest, all right? Let me not just give you full details. Let's go for this quick commercial break, come back, and then do the needful to this editorial. My name has always been TJY. <laughs> okay guys welcome back okay family welcome back let's do the needful to today's editorial like i said super eagles are ranked third in africa and then 28th in the world meaning that they are part or they are part of the best 30 teams in the whole of this world the whole wild world all right so let's look at the first 10 teams in the african log and then via positions in the world log the first team basically is morocco and they are 12th in the world the second team is senegal they are 17th in the world third team nigeria 28th in the world okay fourth team egypt fourth in the world Cote d'ivoire fifth all right they are 39th in the world tunisia sixth or sixth and they are 41st or 41 in the world Okay, Algeria 7th, they are 43rd in the world. Mali 8th, they are 47th in the world. Cameroon 9th, they are 51st in the world. And then South Africa are 10th, and they are 58th in the world. In a build-up to this Afghan tourney, South Africa was 11th behind Ghana, all right, and Ghana was 10th. Now, the Black Stars of Ghana has dropped how many places? Let me say it with a position and a UJ for yourself the black stars of ghana has dropped to the 14th log in africa black stars are now 14th in africa and are somewhere around 60th or 61st in the world so like i said i have this you know idiom i normally use and then this book or you know this poem we learned in school saying that look to yourself in everything look to yourself first you can throw but it's 
definitely or indefinitely incorrect to mock someone who is better than you. <laughs> In relation to basically this, you know, rankings, Nigerians have, they are rising, they are fed now. And I said something, I don't know if you watched my previous podcast, I said it that, in as much as Nigeria lost the final, the Nigerian football team is on the rise. And you can see in a trajectory when a team is on the rise, it comes about the wind blowing, all right, the kind of play they begin to exhibit, all right. This is, yeah, you know, I saw, or you, you, we all saw that the Nigerian, you know, football fraternity and the Nigerians as a whole were basically angry with the Super Eagles team for their performances. All right, in a build-up to the AFCON. So the players themselves knew that they had to up their game to win back their fans. All right, and you can see a team in trajectory. You, you basically would know that they are on a rise. All right, and with how they are start, they've started, sorry, you can see that, you know, subsequent matches, they are going to do well. All right, they are going to foster and do well. You can see a positive wind blowing around the Super Eagles. All right. On the other hand, we were trolling them for lo for being for being losing finalist, and then we are basically dropping. Ghana has been f ever since the era of the Asamoahans, Michaelisians, you know, passed away. We've been struggling, and instead of us to look to ourselves first, we are going up overboard than Ghana Niger by Banta. That is how I see overboard. This time we did it overboard. I'm, I'm not saying it's there. Accept it. Permit me. Yes, it's there. The Banta has always been there between, like I said, myself growing up, I saw the Banta was between only Ghana and Nigeria when we were playing. But I don't know. Seems like Ghanaians have taken it to different, a different level. All right. And then whenever. Ghana is out of any tournament and Nigeria is doing well, want them to fall. And I said something, France 98, they had a goalkeeper like Peter Rufai and Ghanaians were behind Nigeria. We had then not been to the World Cup before. They were there. Okay, so guys, let's be sane and civil and then look at our football in totality and work on it. Ghanaians yesterday had to go on a demonstration against our GFA Ghana Football Association all right, and they called it Save Ghana Football. It means that things are not right. So if we want to banter Nigerians, then the best thing we can do is to go to the drawing board, make sure our football is functioning well in all aspects before we can come back and do it. And even when we are doing it, let's not be witches in our own coven We are trying to pull them down when we are out. And that is the problem I have. That is my only problem. Aside that, I don't have any problem with the banter. Okay, on the basis of today's editorial, I'm not going to linger on, I'm about to sign out. Super, super Eagles are third, in as much as you are trolling them, mocking them, they are third, whereas you have resorted to demonstrations and then finding subversive ways of making sure your FA is doing the right thing. Ghana is not on top of the peril anymore. We are dwindling. And the earlier we realize, the better. But on a more serious note, I'm here to congratulate Nigerians in as much as they didn't win, and as much as their President Tinubu expressed this gratitude to the players, I know that the ensuing days coming, months coming, Nigeria is going to do better. All right, looking at the squad and then how they've begun to play, they are going to do better. So shout outs to Super Eagles for even surpassing the champions of this year's AFCON, Ivory Coast. And then being third in Africa and then 28th in the world. Meaning that the best 30 teams in the whole of this world has Super Eagles of Nigeria in it. And I know, wait for more. Let's wait for more. We can only hope for more. All right. Okay. That has been it on today's editorial. My name has always been TJ. Why? All right. I am your Commander-in-Chief. Do well to join this family by subscribing to the channel. Share your thoughts with me and then hitting the notification button to get notified whenever I post any new video. It is time to go. I salute and peace out.